one time international switching of players bullshit absolute bullshit it I should mean, not be you... allowed sorry brooks nullified not going to be allowed anyway whoa, we'll get to that in whoa. a minute uh we got a lot to get to though uh you know what why don't we just jump into that right now mm. all right so rumors are swirling now that harvey barnes of newcastle uh, has decided that because his grandparents were born in Scotland, he may take up the option to switch and play for Scotland. Even though he's played all through the youth ranks for England, started and played one game for full international squad, uh, for the England international squad. But now he said, you know what? There's too many good players ahead of He didn't start. Of me. He came on as a sub. He played, didn't he? Yeah, in the 76th minute, he Thank came you. on he as played. a sub. Thank you. He played. He made his debut. He played. He got a cap. Uh, and now he's decided there may be too many good players ahead of him, so he's thinking of swapping England for Scotland. You know what? Before any of us chime in, Danny, Wait, have the hold on. My Before friend. any of us chime in, isn't this similar to you just claiming to be English all the time when you... <laughs> What? No was... representing there. Uh, Go ahead, Denny. I, I am English. Sure. It's Where it's were it's South African living in all the of US? it together? It's the most preposterous thing you could potentially do when you've already worn the national team colours throughout youth, England schoolboys, all the way up to the under twenty ones into the first team. And he played a friendly, so it wasn't a recognized FIFA competition, right? And now he's what? Wants to play for Scotland, because he's got some sort of lineal heritage there with his family. Do you want me to read the rule for you? You can read the rule for me. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. So this is from a Forbes article. The FIFA Congress in 2020, in September, this week, passed uh, voted to pass uh, changes to eligibility for national teams. So the biggest changes mean that players are no longer tied to a national team on the basis of a single appearance when they were younger. Players can now switch national teams, provided they were eligible to represent a second country at the time they first played for their first country, even if they have played in an official competition for the First Nation. So that applies so long as they have played no more than three matches, including friendlies. None of the matches were in the final tournament of the FIFA World Cup or Confederation competition, and they all happened before the player turned 21. So so basically what you're saying is um, the English military just up and decided one day in the World War II that I'm going to put on a German outfit. Easy now. No need to bring up... A I mean, that's basically what you're saying. I mean... You can just switch countries on a whim. I mean, a you lot of... You were born to a country. Does that mean anything anymore to anybody? When you have family heritage in another country, I mean, look at all the U.S. military that married Germans and their uh, dual nationals. He was born in England. He was born in... Did you not tell me he was born in Burnley? Yes, he's born in Burnley. Born in England. But there's he's guys that were born in, in Germany. Schoolboys, internationals, full international. And now because he's not good enough or because he's not willing to work hard enough to get selected by Gareth Southgate, which is... <laughs> Yeah, we can go down that. Yeah, road. we can go down that rabbit hole another time, but just because he doesn't want to work hard enough to get into the international team, it's like, okay, well, you know what? I'll I'll take my ball and I'll go and play for Scotland because it's a it's a shit country. Wow, hold on, Brooks's favorite Manchester United player, Tomine plays for Scotland. You couldn't even keep a straight face. And, <laughs> and if you but ask, it's true. Brooks, it's true. Tomine. Is a world class player that has been just hindered at United under yeah. six different managers. Held all, back by those darn all United six, managers. All six different of them. I with, mean, in a grand conspiracy to make sure he doesn't. I'm play. Bro I'm you Brooks. two want to make fun of the Scottish national team? Your best coach yes. ever was Scottish, Sir Alex Ferguson, and played for the Scottish national team. Nothing so. I Alec said Alex has Ferguson any coach to the do. English national team? No, Manchester United. I thought, hold on a second. I said your club. Craig, I said your Craig, club. Help, Craig, help me out here. Nate, please help me out. Is this week international break? Are we talking about international football? Yep. Uh, so yeah, why yeah. the hell are we talking about club football? Because you're making fun of Scottish people. Where no, 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 no. We never no, made fun no, of the no, Scottish. No, no, I'm not making fun of the Scottish. Yeah, you are. No, 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 no. I'm making fun you of the fact that the guy it is a shit country to go and play for. Just because he's not good enough to play for the English national team, he's basically dropped tools and said, you know what? I'm not good enough. 
I'm going play for Scotland. Because he sees the light that he's never going to get playing time with, Sarah, with Southgate there. Put it this way. Switch. Right, put it this way. If I really dug deep enough, I could probably find some Brazilian heritage in my in my family. Is and it? I could go and for, play for Brazil if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to do it because I was born in England. Can you do 23 and me and we can just all talk about where we're all from? 18% Jewish. I'm English, way. part French, Irish. Oh. Yes. So I have so a little part French. So you're a mud, Brooks. I am. And I'm damn proud of it, Craig. I'm sorry, you purebred Englishman. Brooks? You purebred Englishman that just so, wants to shit on everyone. Oh, wow. I'm English. Oh, oh, oh. I'm pure. I can't. No, one, no one in my country can switch to anyone else because... That's exactly right. Because, because we don't marry or, or do anything outside of our pure English country. Jesus, dude. Like, if the guy wants to go play for another country because his family's from there, he has every right to do it. And oh, that's why they installed this rule. Hold on. Hold on. This is ridiculous. Hold on. No, it's not. Because let's clarify some things. Because I, I had some thoughts on this. Okay. I had to ask some things and questions. And let's leave the 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 angry outburst the outburst master for just two seconds. And we're going to tamper it. So. Wow, you're really calm tonight. Oh, I am. Danny. <laughs> You weren't saying, like, hey, if I have a dual national citizenship and I've never played for the senior team, and you know what? Maybe I want to go play for Scotland over England because, I don't know, I summer there and I just feel more of a connection. But I've never played for the English national team, and boom. That's okay, right? That's what you're – hey, but what you're saying, as soon as you put on the jersey, it's like this. That's a nice jersey, by the way. Thank you. Like them? Yeah. Yep. Nice one. Hold on. So you can say Balogun's a fraud, too? That's absolutely is. Hold on. Hold on. Where did, did Belligan play for a senior team other than the U.S.? He played in the English youth national team did system. He, so is Eunice Musa a fraud too? Did he? I'm going well, to repeat myself real quick. Let's let him finish. And it's yeah. a yes or no, not, hey, what color is the sky? And it, you saying it rains in England. Nobody gives a shit, yes or no. We said, as soon as you put the senior men's national team jersey on, that's when you're pot committed. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yep. So no, it's not if you've never played for a senior men's national team. All right. I, I will change my answer. Yep, you're right. Once you've, put the, once you've been selected, you step on the field and you say, I'm in, and you play for the senior team, you wear the jersey, you represent them, that's it. It's done. One-time switching is bullshit. So to answer, to put it in more of, a realistic realm, or not realistic realm, but more of a relatable realm, Jermaine Jones, who played for the men, German men's national team, who wasn't good enough to play anymore for the German men's national team, who upped and changed his citizenship. Yep. Yeah, kind of bullshit, if you really think about it. Because yep. you know what? And actually, there was heavy criticism back during the Klinsman era of a bunch of players like him, like, who is that left back? I can't think of the other German left back who only played in the World Cup and never again. Um, Chandler? Chandler, who literally only played for in the World Cup and never again. That's the Frankfurt guy, right, we're referring yep. to? Never, Timmy Chandler never played a lick of minutes anywhere else. And no, I don't think you want your national team to be guys just trying to jump on because, I don't know, you could play in the Euros because Scotland's actually doing pretty well and you always wanted that or maybe – sneak in the World Cup because that team looks to qualify. Those aren't the players you want on your squad. Those aren't the, That's not the passionate players you want coming out who want to bleed and breathe and love the country, who are standing up and screaming the national anthem. I mean, you know, Harvey Barnes doesn't bleed and breathe Scotland. If I was a Scotsman, if I was a Scotsman and that was happening and he was coming the other way, You'd be I'd be pissed off as a Scotsman. You've already played for England. Yep. That's why. You've already played for England. You've put on the shirt for the national team, the men's full national team. He, and now you're going to Scotland. You're coming to play for my country. And that's why. Because he had the opportunity to select one, and he selected England. Happens all the time with U.S. and Mexico. I mean, Julian Araujo left. Brooks, I was like, go fucking Brooks, play. Men's Brooks, Brooks, it happened, it happened with Damari Gray. It happened with... Yeah, it was Jamaica. Um, it, it happened with... Um, yeah. What's his face at uh, Crystal Palace? Now at Galatasaray. Uh, oh, Zaha? Zaha. Yeah. yeah, played for England and then went to the Ivory Coast because he wasn't yeah. good enough to get... Well, he was good enough to get in the squad, just didn't want to earn it. Yep. It, yeah. it happens all the time. It should yeah. not be allowed. Once you put on the national team, the full international team, I don't care about the youth. Yeah, right? youth doesn't Youth, you're still figuring out your career. You can still... But you can get capped now with the youth if you play enough of the competitions. 
No, it's still... You, I, you're I still England's good. It comes down to the full You one. get schoolboy caps, yes. You get schoolboy caps that you can take and put in a nice little cabinet and say that you've represented your country at the youth ages. I know. But when you put on that first team jersey in front of those fans, you are making a commitment to the national team. Hmm. You can't just turn around and say, I don't know, to quote Nate, journalist, I don't know, just go to a different country and shit all over the one that you've just left. I'll tell you what, if I was a men's national team coach anywhere and you were looking to switch allegiances, I probably want to take you. No. <laughs> That's not how no, the game's played nowadays. Wouldn't. I'm sorry. I don't care how you the game's You go where you want to no, play no, no, and you're going to no, no. make a difference. I don't give two flying fucks what you think and how the game is played and the rules. I'm telling you what I would do as a, as a manager. I wouldn't take you. I wouldn't take you because here's the thing. That's disruption in the locker room. That's nonsense you don't need. And at the end of the day, I want a starting 11 that can run through walls and would run through walls for my country. Has it done Timmy, that for the U.S. men's national team? Yeah, Timmy Chandler. Was, yeah, Timmy Chandler was Balligan. shit. Never played for the men's national team, Brooks. What can't you understand? What can't you understand? Musa never played for any other men's national team, did he? He was in the English youth national team. System. Did he play for the men's no. national team? Does yes or no? You're seeing the youth national yes team. Yes or no? System. No, it's the we, same thing. No, it's not. We yes, just defined that. No, it's not. You're trying you to get the found. No matter what you put. What no, it's completely it's different. You're trying to be found. What don't you get about that? No. It's a men's it's national the team. Same thing. No, no matter it's you play not. The youth national team or the men's national in team. In your little world, man. Wearing maybe. the colors, it doesn't no, it's matter. Not. It you, does not. A hundred percent. Matters. Are you right, kidding hold me? Tight. No. Hold tight. Hold tight. No, I, I'm a little confused because just because well, you're the only person in this room that watches a U17 game and think they're gonna fucking do something for that national team doesn't mean that's gonna amount to shit. It does not matter until you put on the senior team jersey, and that's what we're fucking talking but, about. But so what? Uh, am not I wrong? Nowadays. I don't yeah, want to put words in your mouth. Am I wrong? We you are defined to go through the, the national team. You can't tell me that they don't love representing their country at 17, 15, and 19. And I can't tell you. Yeah, but those boys at 15, 17, and 19, under 21s that are looking to represent England in those age groups want to fucking go into the senior team. They don't want to switch when they are not good enough and go Harvey to Scotland. Barnes went through all that. So why is he switching? He put on a jersey in the senior national team fucking first team. He can't switch now and suddenly turn around and go, hey, let's Well, he can because Scotland. Scotland rules allow it. With, it's a bullshit rule. Should I be saying. upset that Noel Buck went into the U19s and he's been a great player with the Revs and he's U.S. National Team eligible? Did he play for the first team? Did he play he for the men's potential team? To it. I didn't say I wasn't talking about potential. I said, did he play for the he first has, team? In his international career, has two caps for the England 19s. He hey, has not Brooks, been in the U.S. Brooks, if he's team. played for the under 15, 17s, 19s, U.S. Men's National Team, he wants to transfer to Gibraltar. He's more than welcome to do so. The moment he puts on the first team jersey. He's not playing for any other country. Yeah. So, again. Morally, again, morally, it's wrong. I think we've got a consensus again, at three against one. Once again, you put on that first team jersey, you're done. 